the secondary data or the data, the existing data, it doesn't matter if it is uh, was first collected for research or not for research. Mm -hmm. Like the Medicare data, it's not for research, right? It's for payments, for billing, okay? Uh, but it's, it's already there, and so that's secondary. Uh, or some there are other data collected by the federal government for research. Uh, there's National House Interview Survey. There are other like, kinds of mm, research data. But if somebody else collected that, that's called secondary data. And uh, for primary data, it's main, we need to go and design a study and collect that data. And uh, most often, uh, okay. it will be for research purpose, but sometimes it's, uh, it's uh, different. Like if we try to get data from EMR, we're not, gonna, we're not gonna get everything from the EMR. We might do some kind of medical record review, right? And to uh, get that kind of information we need, we, it's kind of still considered a primary data. Um, so it's much more expensive to collect uh, your own data, as you know, like in the United States. Uh, if you want to do a survey, um, then it's very expensive. If you want to do an intervention and collect uh, primary data, it's very expensive. So uh, if you look at the, the web page of our, our the, the research web page, uh, it's mostly the two types of uh, data or research project are categorized by secondary data and primary data. I, I think it's mostly about uh, using um, secondary data. And then uh, the, the more expensive ones are uh, related to primary data collection and analysis. <laughs> <laughs>